This video will walk through a standard application setup on the Dataman web user interface from start to finish. To connect to the system, refer to the product's unboxing video. Once connected to the device, the home screen will be the starting point. The home screen is where a summary of information about the system can be found, including firmware version, model name, and MAC address. There is also access to backup and restore configurations if needed. On this screen, programs can be managed to easily change jobs that need a product's changeover needs. To set up this application, move to the Code Setup tab. Code Setup goes through configuring barcode reading settings for any environment, part type, and barcode. First, by going into Live Mode, the reader auto-adjusts the focus distance, lighting, and contrast to identify the best parameters for the part. Positioning guidance tells where to best position the reader relative to the part so no ID setup experience is needed. In this example, the part is currently too close to the reader. While in live mode, the reader can be moved further away from the part until the position guidance is optimal for the application. Now the code can be read, and the reader is at the optimal position. Proceed to the next step. Here begins the tuning step. This is where AI tuning will auto-adjust lighting parameters such as exposure and gain, while also auto-selecting the optimal lighting parameters to achieve a read result. Once tuning is completed, select the image option that works best for the application. In this case, the first option is selected. Depending on the complexity of the part, the AI Enhancer results are shown as either visible or transparent. When enabled, the AI Enhancer is fired in the background on every image and helps extend decoding performance on the most challenging codes and parts. To view what the AI Enhancer output looks like on a tuned barcode, use the visibility slider. On the right-hand side, multiple read setups can be created to accommodate a wide range of variations in a production line, but for this demo, only the one provided will be used. The test step provides a convenient way to run quick verifications on the current setup. The review step gives a high-level overview of the tuning parameters, such as symbology, gain, and exposure. Now that the code can be read, move on to the application details. This is where settings can be customized based on application needs. This includes trigger, code quality, data validation, and data formatting settings. In this example, the trigger mode is set to self, and the trigger delay is kept at 200 milliseconds so that the system will trigger at that interval. The code quality step gives code quality metrics grading that can be used for internal process control to see how well the code is being read. Data validation is used to set up match strings, pattern matching, or other types of validation for different code types. Data formatting is where choices can be made to what the reader sends out to a computer or machine, so settings don't need to be changed on anything else. No coding is needed for this step. Here is a quick demonstration in order to include the symbology type in an output string. Simply click Add Data Result to add it. To further customize, drag different data results in different orders, as well as add leading and trailing characters. The example output is displayed below. The communication step goes through the industrial communication setup, including interactions with the PLC and configurations of different inputs and outputs. Currently, only a reader is connected, so this step can be skipped for now. Now that everything is set up, enter the runtime view to see how well it runs. Runtime view contains a summary table showing trigger counts, current read rate, and decode time statistics. For more information, refer to the Dataman Getting Started page and other videos in the Dataman Setup series. Thank you for watching.